Today we are happy to see our objectives of the national sports policy become a reality through our guests of honor who have jumped over hurdles, bench pressed the weight of the world and swam in the roughest waters to be the victors they are today. To our athletes, you are our nation's pride and joy. We are honored to celebrate your achievements with you this morning and to show appreciation for, you, for what you have accomplished for the sporting community and for our nation. I want to challenge you, the athletes, to continue along your journey. It is not an easy journey. And we know, uh, given what is going on in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, we need more positive stories. Let your, your story be the beacon for change in Trinidad and Tobago. We look forward to continue to support our teams, our athletes, our NGBs, and the sport company is gearing itself to add more value as we go forward for Trinidad and Tobago. I think we all have a duty to accept honor and respect the power of sport. When we look up to this thing called sport and its ability to build people, to unite communities, to transform your economy, to change young people's lives, to give them that opportunity, opportunity to, to, to um, generate wealth. Let sport be that unifying force. Let it be that beacon of hope for young people and for all of us as humanity to work together. Let fear play reign. 